Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to Dying the Dead. In today's video, we're going to be doing the last and final step of our diaphanization process, which is the storage of our diaphanized specimens in glycerin. Every material has an index of refraction that is linked to the speed of light in the material. So the higher an index of refraction, the slower the light travels in that material. The transparency comes from the smaller the difference in the speed between the two clear materials. So if a transparent object is surrounded by another material that has the same index of refraction, then the speed of light will not change as it enters the object. No reflection and no refraction will occur, so the object will appear invisible. Here are some of the things that you will need. Your specimens, glycerin, thymol crystals, lab gloves, your tweezers, a cookie sheet or some type of bin that you can put your specimens on while you're working, and storage jars in varying sizes. We're going to start off by filling the jar with glycerin. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top considering when we put our specimens in there, the level is going to rise. Next, we're going to add a small little crystal of thymol to prevent any fungal and bacterial growth. And then we will go on and place our specimen inside. In this video, I'm only going to be doing the storage of two of my specimens. If you hang around to the end of the video, you'll get to learn about what's going to happen to the third specimen. Alright, so let's get started. said I wish I was a tree the tree said I wish I could be a different kind of tree the cat wished that it was a bee the turtle wished that it could fly really high into the sky over rooftops and then dive deep into the sea and in the sea there is a fish a fish that has a secret wish a wish to be a big cactus with a pink flower on it and in the sea there is a a fish that has a secret wish A wish to be a big cactus With a pink flower on it And a flower would be its offering of love To the desert and the desert So dry and lonely That the creatures are the fish in the effort And the jackalope buddy Snake said, I wish I had hands so I could hug you like a man. And then the cactus said, But don't you understand? My skin is covered with sharp spikes that'll stab you like a thousand eyes. A hug would be nice, but hug my flower with your eyes. To the flower said, I wish I was a tree. The tree said, I wish I could be a different kind of tree. The cat wished that it was a bee. The turtle wished that it could. Really high into the sky, over rooftops and then dive deep into the sea. And in the sea there is a fish, a fish that has a secret wish, a wish to be a big cactus with a pink flower on it. And in the sea there is a fish, a fish that has a secret wish, a wish to be a big cactus with a pink flower on it. And the flower would be its all. look pretty good in their glycerin. We have the third mouse that I started on later than the first two, which it's still a little bit floaty. I'm not really sure why. There's no air pockets up in the spine or anything like that, so it's kind of funny. It's kind of weird.
And here is the second mouse that I've stored in 100% glycerin. in the glycerin look pretty cool. They're, I, I'm very happy with the way they came out. I like the way they look. They look pretty exotic. They aren't as clear as I thought they would be, I guess. I don't know, in my mind I must have had this thing where they were going to be so transparent that I was only going to see the bones and cartilage, but obviously that was so unrealistic. Um, but I'm very pleased with the way they came out. They look awesome to me. And for the most part, the tissues are very transparent. They still, some parts, have a little bit of the Alcine Blue residue, but that's okay. I think that looks cool. The mouse that's in the taller jar is actually kind of floaty. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know why it's floating to the top of the glycerin. Because when you push it down to the bottom and it's kind of spread out, it looks amazing. But it just keeps bunching itself up at the top. So I don't really know what to do about that. I guess maybe over time it will sink. Hopefully. <laughs> But other than that, my mice look great, and I'm very happy and pleased with the way that they came out. Alright, so the moment you guys have been waiting for, what am I going to do with the mouse that I didn't store in 100% glycerin? Well, I'm going to actually do a giveaway. Ooh, giveaway! So for this giveaway, I'm going to be taking parts from this third mouse that I didn't store in 100% glycerin, and I'm going to be storing them in little bottles like this. And I'm going to be giving away six different pieces. So you guys should be on the lookout for a giveaway coming up this September. I will have another video that has the rules and all the terms and conditions and whatever, all of that stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and to just keep in tune with what I'm doing. Don't forget to check the links and read the description down below because there's a lot of interesting stuff down there and things that you will need to know. And I will be continuing with this whole Dying the Dead video series, but I will be doing other species and different protocols, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!